Dan. Hi. I'm Blair Waldorf, Serena's oh, friend. Oh, hey. Yeah, uh, do you happen to know where she is? As a matter of fact, I do. Where? Serena, there you are. Uh, where were you? She was waiting in a hotel room for my boyfriend to talk. About why we weren't talking. That doesn't sound any smarter the second time. Why weren't you talking? Does this have anything to do with why you're waiting for Serena this morning? You were what? And here I thought you were waiting for me. Oh, exactly what the situation needs. Chuck, now what is going on here? We were just getting to that. Blair, please don't do this. Sorry. Did you want to tell him? I'll tell him. You know? No. Know everything. And apparently I know nothing. Look, Dan, it, it was a long time ago and I regret it. Look, but... Serena, stop trying to pretend you're a good girl. So you slept with your best friend's boyfriend. I kind of admire you for it. Is that true? Well, then she ran away and lied about it. I just thought you should know before you fall head over heels for your perfect girl in her perfect world and then get left all alone with no one but your Cabbage Patch kid. <laughs> cabbage Patch? Did you talk to my sister? Ah, yes, little Jenny. I do believe she and I have some unfinished business. You stay away from her. Poor Daniel. So little time, so many sluts to defend. It's fine, it's fine. Everyone can stop looking. He's a jerk. But it's my fault, and, and I'm leaving. I'll go with you. Actually, I'd prefer if you didn't. Hope you're happy. Not even close. Looks like it's just you and me. Apparently my room is available. Shut up and Some might call this a foster club, but on the Upper East Side, we call it Sunday afternoon.